Today we're making two OCs based off of my YouTube music playlist. This is an idea that I found off of a TikTok video that posted a generator using their Spotify playlist. I don't currently have Spotify, so we're going to work with what I have. Let's go ahead and watch the original generator video and see what we come up with. So for this first one, I honestly had a lot of fun with it. I don't usually draw guys. If you look at my portfolio, I think the last time I actually dedicated time into drawing a human of male stature um, was when I did my Dio piece back in 2022, um, early 2022. So that really tells you how long ago it's actually been since I drew a guy and actually put time and effort into it. I'm just so much more comfortable drawing females. And um, yeah, so I wanted to do a male character because my goal this year is to get more comfortable drawing male characters um, just so that I can expand more on my art. Lately, I've been really feeling like I've been just so stuck in the same bubble of art that I've been doing for so incredibly long. And I've been putting myself on a crutch of just drawing, you know, pretty girls with, um, you know, witch hats and stuff like that. And I feel like I'm, I'm closing myself off to other options. And uh, I don't like that feeling. I, I'm putting myself into an art re regression, I feel like. And it's not something that I really want to put myself through. So I knew when I did this uh, OC generator that I was going to do a male character, no matter what I really got. Um, that's why even though um, the person on the actual album is a female, because the band is a male band, I chose to do a male character anyways. So um, just for that fact. So I I just, yeah. And then um, I wanted to do Y2K as the fashion. When I saw that Britney Spears popped up, I thought that this would be really fun for me to do some trip pants or maybe some Jinkos, but I decided to do some trip pants. And then I wanted to do the double S, but I was trying to draw it from memory. Um, I don't know if anybody here is even old enough to remember, but I was born in 96. So I, I remember drawing that double S on everything in middle school and high school. Not really so much high school, I guess, but middle school, elementary school. Um, just kind of drawing it on everything and putting it on... Um, uh, assignments in notebooks on uh, notes to my friends and stuff like that this was before texting so we would pass notes in class and then um, I just remember putting the double s on everything and it being kind of like an alternative staple as well an alternative symbol so I you know went with that because I, I was gonna do like a corn shirt and I decided nah because to be honest, I don't listen to corn, so I feel like that would have been kind of lame to do. Um, my music is really all over the place because I hyper fixate on, on bands for like a long sense of time. Like there was a nine month time where all I listened to, like I worked 12 hour shifts uh, at my human job, at my normal job. And um, there was a long time where all I would listen to was like the entire discography of Avenged Sevenfold and um, kind of burnt myself out. So that's kind of what I do is I hyper fixate on a band or a song and I replay it and replay it and replay it and replay it. So my YouTube music was kind of dry because I had a Spotify, but my um, and, and I've had the Spotify for so long that I had like. 9,000, not, not 9,000, 900 songs on it, something like that. And it was, you know, something I curated for a very long time. However, someone kept trying to get into my Facebook account. And because I signed up to Spotify with my Facebook, um, 
well, Facebook was like, you're not going to, you're just, you're just not going to have access to this account anymore. And they terminated my Facebook account. And when they did that, my Spotify got deleted. So, and this was like two weeks ago. So I just recently moved over to YouTube music and my YouTube music is dry. There's so much music on there that I don't really listen to very often. Um, so it was just, I don't know, one of those things where I was like, damn, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Like, like a lot of these songs aren't really me. Like I love Britney Spears. I love Avenged Sevenfold. I like Paramore. I like Sleeping With Sirens. I love, I love The Gentleman. I love Charlie's band. It is so good. Um, but like some of the music, like Old Escape the Fate I love, but like like some of them I don't really listen to very often. So like, I just, I don't know. It felt kind of weird putting them on there, but it was really all that was popping up. Um, so I had to really kind of think outside the box for some of the options, but I'm pretty happy with it. I decided to do a guitar because uh, I play guitar myself. I only know Avenged Sevenfold solos, but I'm pretty damn good at them, so I'm just saying. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so it gave me a good opportunity to draw a guitar because I've been wanting to draw a guitar in a picture for so long, but I haven't, like, found a good opportunity because it's kind of hard to draw guitars in proportion to the body because they're awkward. And, yeah, so that's kind of what I wanted to do. So... I'm adding those guitar strings, making sure there's six of them. I did not draw the fretboards, uh, and it's really annoying that I didn't draw the frets. And then, um, do you remember chain wall, like the wallet chains that most schools had banned? I do. Um, my brother used to wear wallet chains, and um, I don't know. I thought of those when I was drawing the trip pants. I was like, I feel like those were a staple those and like the little suspender tassels that you would hang on your trip pants the red things that i put on there those were pretty common too on trip pants and so i wanted to put those and then having those seams that were like a contrasting color so like red or a vibrant purple or neon green um that the trip pants had so commonly on them i feel like uh kind of made it made them stand out more as trip pants and less like wide leg legged jeans um wide legged cargo pants i guess i should say so i went ahead and added those as well and i feel like that really kind of made it stand out and add more to the character and i'm pretty pleased with the overall result to be honest i honestly am like super super happy with how this one turned out i don't really think i could have done it any better um, with where I was at with my mental state and drawing. I just, there's a couple things I think I would change, but I'm overall pretty satisfied. And then I did go in with the curve effect tool. I've been really using it lately, um, because it's honestly been making my pictures pop in more ways than I can really think of because I, there's so many color, um, color effects that it brings out that I really don't think of until like it really shows it with the, with the curve tool and it always just looks so good so here is the final piece for the first oc i'm pretty happy with him i don't know what i would name him he kind of looks like a like a jake or a bow maybe a bow i don't know on to the next one You know, as comfortable as I am with drawing female characters, you would think that this one would be easy for me. However, I fear that this one was actually a lot more complicated and less inspiring for me. And I think it was because of the album options that I was provided. Like I said, my YouTube music is pretty dry for me right now. And a lot of the options that kept popping up, I just kind of had to accept and move on just so that I could get the project done, simply because it just kept giving me the same album covers. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to go ahead and do them because it's obviously not gonna give me anything else. I even tried changing the playlist and because it's so curated to whatever it wants to play right now, 
it just wasn't giving me much else to work with so this is kind of what I what I went with was a butterfly girl and then I changed uh I, I kind of based the outfit off of Olivia Rodrigo's outfit in that one purple album I don't know the name of the album the one with driver's license on it you know the one the sad album that's always breakup songs and then um I based her personality kind of like love struck so I gave her heart pupils and then here I am fixing the face because I did not like the eyes that I originally did they were they were fucked up and then I still don't like the eyes but they are much better than what they were and then uh yeah I'm just kind of I don't know it would this one was a little bit harder for me to get into mentally and you would think that this one would be a lot easier because usually when I start a drawing of a guy, I don't finish it. I, I start it, don't like it, and I move on with my life. And for some reason, this one, I was just ready to be done with it. Um, yeah, so, you know, it was, it was just weird. It was the complete opposite on what I expected, to be honest. But... Um, I do feel like she's pretty cute in the end. It's just she's not my favorite. I did end up um, adding the uh, like a floral pattern from the Procreate default brushes to the skirt just to kind of add some texture. I feel like that kind of made it pop out a little more. And then um, the butterfly wing right now is just kind of singular on its own so that I can maybe add details to it. I don't end up adding details to it. And then uh, copy and paste it over and make the other wing. And then um, just kind of doing the hair and cleaning up the outfit, getting the, the chest area right. I struggled with it for a hot minute. Still doesn't really look right in the end, but you know, it is what it is. I tried. And then um, just kind of going around and uh, making sure that the piece is looking good. For some reason, my screen recording kind of freezes a little bit at this point, and I'm not really sure why. I I upgraded to iOS, not iOS, Mac OS 18 developer beta, and my recordings hate me. So now we're back. Um, yeah, my recordings have been acting up since I updated. So maybe don't update if you want to do this. And then um, I'm just going through and adding some darker values into some areas just to make it pop out a little bit. Um, adding some... Uh... Oh yeah, here I am struggling with the hand. And then adding some uh, outline around the legs just to make those pop. Add some shadows. That arm is all messed up. I don't know what I was doing with that arm and hand. So I... I go the easy way out and I end up copying and pasting the whole hand and my screen recording I think is dying once again yes sir it is yes sir it is and the eye is fucked up one of the eyes is fucked up but okay I'm just now realizing that my screen recording on the very end of this completely died on me but here's the final piece. She's cute, right? She's cute. I mean, yeah, she's cute. She's just not my favorite. And one of her eyes is completely messed up. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. <laughs> um, anyways, if you enjoy these types of videos and it's your first time here, I do invite you to subscribe. Also, if you like this video, let me know down below what I should make next. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Do join my Discord so you can share your art and chat with other artists. And have a great day. Bye-bye.